We started our journey of our Haas team based at Salisbury in June 2011. We were excited and nervous about this new program. We knew we would meet new challenges, have new responsibilities and finally work for a service that was funded to run group activities. It was a very different working environment as our team started off small. We had a handful of staff and big ideas for the service. What do you think the Life Without Barriers vision there's a community for everyone means? I think it means that people out there should understand that even that we have mental illness, they should realize that we'd like to live a happy life and full life like everybody else. We are same people like everybody else and we need that respect and support from people. I think the Life Without Barriers vision is that everyone gives their own independence finds their own way in life and live a happy life. We brainstormed ideas for the development of groups and devised a survey to find out what groups consumers were interested in. A couple of years on and our program has greatly benefited clients and the community. Life for me before the HES program actually wasn't very good because uh, I have suffered from mental illness about 10 years ago since since 1995 so i didn't get any support or any help from anybody for at least 10 years before the house program i never had a lot of confidence in myself i didn't have a lot of confidence with living in the community the house program gave me the confidence and the help i needed to settle myself into my own environment the house program has changed my life in a lot of ways i found my independence I found friends that I never had before and I get involved in a lot of activities with life without barriers. Uh, given me hope for the future. They have given me house to live. Um, I'm joining in groups which my auntie Pam has always encouraged me to get out of the house, get involved in groups, go for walks. Um, it's just really changed my life immeasurably because um, I've let go of the past. In speaking with consumers that had started to enter the program, they identified that feeling anxious and socially isolated kept them from exploring ways to begin their journey of recovery. Something as simple as meeting in a cafe with someone who would be there to support them was a challenge, and so the first activity group for Hass was formulated. Coffee group in the beginning consisted of one client meeting at a coffee shop with me where we would talk about the recovery journey. We have certainly grown from there and now have up to 10 clients each week in attendance. The most challenging part is actually the motivation to do things just that people with mental illness have difficulty to get motivated to do things. The gentle integration from hospital to here has been wonderful. It's every day is a challenge, but very worthwhile. Because I'm here, I'm alive, I see people, I talk to people. The most challenging part of the HAS program is actually moving into my own house by myself. I had to go through a series of support sleepovers to get on my feet before I could manage by myself. Another area identified by the service and also consumers was skills, safety and healthy options for cooking. This group was so successful we had to change from fortnightly to weekly sessions. We had to find a kitchen in a community centre. We often use food from the food co-op and provide participants with affordable food they can cook at home on a budget. I like cooking class, I love cooking group. Um, Tuesdays, either fishing or coffee group. It's just good to get out of the house, you know. I have the option of either not going and going on my own. I, I love participating. Life Without Barry supports me in a lot of ways, from picking up medication, going to doctor surgeries, going to my psychologist, my psychiatrist, and they helped me out with all my medical appointments. One of the activities that was highlighted by consumers to be popular was the fishing group. One client in particular was Glenn, 
and together we worked out how the fishing group would go and be developed into this favourite activity. Glenn was responsible for the locations of the fishing group and helped with his fishing expertise to purchase fishing rods, tackle and bait. He helped to put the fishing rods together and often helped consumers who were less experienced. My favourite activity with Life Without Barriers is the fishing group, of course, because I'm a fishing nut. I've always been a keen fisherman and I like fishing and I like seeing people enjoy themselves and doing something different. Get to see people happy when they catch something, see people have a good time, go to different places. The latest group we have started facilitating is the computer group. We have a tutor at another community centre where consumers learn how to use a computer. The participants were provided with a new laptop, utilising their brokerage money and will continue to learn how to use the laptop. This is very exciting for the consumers as most have never even learned the basics to even write an email. Life Without Barriers support me in many ways. They have supported me during my transition to my home. They have supported me in hospital when I have operation. They have supported me by taking me in appointments. They take us to the groups. They have supported me financially buying things from my home. What groups do you get involved in? I get involved in the coffee and chat group, bowling, uh, fishing, computer group, bike riding group. Some clients have been encouraged to do peer worker training run by Mr and Baptist Care. Glenn has done this training and is looking for opportunities of volunteer or paid work into the future. The passion Glenn has to encourage and help people is to be admired. Although he still has symptoms, he doesn't give up and always gives his best. He's always thinking of others. I am considering becoming a peer worker in the near future, but not quite at this stage in time because I've still got some hurdles I must climb within myself. I've done the various courses, but I'd like to go back and do some study before I start working. I have also done some creative work with consumers around producing digital stories about their own unique recovery journey, what people have struggled with and what they have overcome. It was fantastic that we could be involved in this process with Glenn. The process included writing poetry, telling his story and showing his artwork. It became a celebration of Glenn's life as an incredible inspiration and something that articulates what we do at HASP. Well, I have to acknowledge that I can't do it all myself. I'm going to try to do my best and to keep taking the medication, which is essential if you want to be well. Firstly, I need to be well mentally. Then I need to work on my physical problems that I have to sort them out. And hopefully I will achieve my goals. We have run a number of retreats where participants spend four days away relaxing, joining in activities and challenging themselves. Lovely to have a holiday. I made um, jewellery, yeah. um, even got in the swimming pool, got to keep, got to get that one down pat um, from Walt. I love archery and I feel very overwhelmed and I think, oh goodness, I get so spoiled. I enjoyed the retreats in a lot of ways because I found that the flying fox, the giant swing, the swimming pool, we got to play bingo every night while we was there and I really enjoy those activities. When asked how is your wellness after this retreat, one participant said I am so happy to get out and about. I normally don't leave my house and I'm glad I came. I feel great. Another said my wellness is even better, less down, tired but more confident and motivated. When asked about a quote for the camp, the camp gave me better self-esteem. I enjoyed catching up with friends and making new ones. I didn't think I would laugh so much. Camp is a good way to meet others and catch up with old friends and plus the activities were fun. The retreat was an adventure. The connections people made and the encouragement people gave each other made for an unforgettable experience. Most of the participants came to the camp as strangers or acquaintances, but came back from the retreat as friends. 
What are your hopes for the future? Uh, get a car licence. Uh, quite a few things actually. My hopes for the future are to get an employment, get off the pension. I've done everything in my life, A to Z, to survive, to see my daughter be the beautiful woman she is. I live one day at a time, just one day at a time. Get rid of the past and um, I'm looking ahead. I'm positive and I, think I feel good about the future because I do believe that with the support and with the programs that are around us, we can achieve our goals and we can have good life. And that's what HASP is all about.